Gospel of the Day From the Gospel according to Matthew Matthew chapter 20 verses 1 to 16 Jesus told his disciples this parable The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, You too go into my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You do go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when they first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only an hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not to do so? I wish with my own money. Are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first and the first will be God behaves like this. He does not look at the time and at the results but at the availability. He looks at the generosity with which we put ourselves at his service. His way of acting is more than just, in the sense that it goes beyond justice and is manifested in grace. Everything is grace. Our salvation is grace. Our holiness is grace. In giving us grace, he bestows on us more than what we merit. And so, those who reason using human logic, that is, the logic of merits acquired through one's own greatness, from being first, find themselves last. But I have worked a lot. I have done so much in the church. I have helped a lot, and they pay me the same as the person where I have lost. Let us remember who was the first canonized saint in the church, the good thief. He stole paradise at the last minute of his life. This is grace. This is what God is like. Even with us, instead, those who seek thinking of their own merits fail. Those who humbly entrust themselves to the Father's mercy rather than being lost, like the good thief, find themselves first.